Samsung Super AMOLED flexible displays by Cahill O'Sullivan and now Kyo. Our paper explores Samsung's development of Super AMOLED flexible display technology. We discuss how we believe smart Samsung are currently going about developing and managing this technology in smartphones. But what is Super AMOLED? Super Active Matrix Light Emitting Diode. It consists of an active matrix of all 8 pixels that generate light upon electrical activation. The touch screen sensor is only 100 of a millimeter thick. This allows engineers to develop flexible displays that still provide excellent images. But what does this mean? A new generation of visual display. Lightweight and flexible plastic substrates. Wider viewing angles and improved brightness. Better power efficiency and faster response time. We have identified a number of revolutionary differences that Super AMOLED technology brings to Samsung's new generation display products. One of the main advantages it has over other screen types, such as LCDs, is that it is extremely durable due to its flexible substrate foundation. It is expected that at optimized output, this technology can be produced relatively inexpensively as it can be manufactured by printing on an inkjet printer. Flexible AMOLED displays also consume less power than conventional screens, as there is no need of backlight. Samsung believes that savings of 30% can be achieved in terms of energy required. The Samsung electronics design and development process is heavily influenced by South Korean culture. The yin-yang symbol represents how polar opposites are interconnected with one another and complement one another as part of a dynamic system. Samsung developed its ethos of yin-yang design, the balance of reason and feeling, the combination of simplicity and complexity, technology and humanity. Samsung firstly identifies the reason, the geometric and technological elements behind the product. This stage identifies what capabilities the product and determines the approximate shape and size of the product. Once the reason has been determined, development teams then enhance the, the designs in order to develop an emotional connection with the user, which is the feeling. Much of their designs places an emphasis on understanding and observing customers and how they react to their products. Why PDCA development methodology? Following our examination of the culture and organizational structure of Samsung Electronics, we believe they follow a plan to check act development methodology. Their aim to produce high quality products following the yin-yang culture can be easily associated with PDCA's emphasis on established goals, feedback and, and improvement. The PDCA development technology is as follows. Plan. Decide on the objectives and processes necessary to achieve the vision. Do. This action requires stakeholders involved to carry out the plan and make the product. Check. This is a measurement of the actual results carried out in the previous step to the expected results from the first step. Act. Based on the differences between the actual and plan results, the root causes are found and corrective actions are taken to fix the issues at hand. We believe that there is potential for this technology to be applied elsewhere. Not only can this technology be used in smartphones, we anticipate that it will be adapted to tablet PCs and televisions. With a longer term view, we envisage that this technology could be integrated into all types of everyday materials such as newspapers and clothing because of its flexible nature and the low production costs. We believe that the advancements in this technology, coupled with its current application, brings about very exciting prospects into the future for visual display, and especially Samsung as the development leader in this type of technology. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed our video.